non-settler primitive people living along the riverbanks and on the shores of seas and lakes learned how to catch fish by watching how other species hunted. Fish was tasty and valuable food caught with bare hands for primitive people. Archaeological evidence showed that during the Neolithic age, people made harpoons, fishing rod, and fishermen's gaff out of stone, wood, bone, and thorn. Moreover, dating back to 3000 BC, Chinese used to produce gray mullet in basins covered with salted water. The Romans are known to raise carp and freshwater mullets in fish ponds. The first written records on fishery were the ancient Egyptian inscriptions dating back to 2000 BC. These inscriptions reveal that Egyptian fishermen had used some forms of nets. It is known that Chinese fishermen used ice to gather the frozen lakes, rivers, and ponds to store fish. In Europe, Cooling freshly caught fish to extend their storage periods was first invented when fish was transported from Scotland to England by sea in the 18th century. At the end of the 19th century, mechanically produced ice on the fishing boat changed radically the life of fishermen. However, some cooling systems had been developed after all. Among the developed systems, no none was as useful as the ice used to cool fish. Fish is a nutrient-rich, excellent food source for human diet. With its rich content of protein and polyunsaturated fatty acids, it is a very important food as it meets the body's basic nutrient needs and makes good impact on human physiology and metabolic functions in terms of a healthy lifestyle and preventing from diseases. Fish contains 18 to 20% of protein and a rich source of vitamins A, D and B. It is packed with phosphor, iron, selenium, calcium, and a very significant source of omega-3. Fishing and seafood industry is a very important source of food income for hundreds of thousands of people around the world. Global fish consumption reached today 170 million of tons, while 95 million of which are through fishing, and 75 million are through breeding, compared to 60 million of tons of global consumption in 1970s, with 57 million tons through fishing, and 3 million tons are through breeding. Consequently, the global per capita demand reached a record value of 20 kilograms due to the dynamic growth of fish breeding. Thanks to governmental subsidies, China is in a leading position with a production of almost 50 million tons. They mainly produce saprinids. Other main producer countries are India, Vietnam, Bangladesh, and United States. Four species of commercial value are tuna, lobster, prawn, and cephalopod. Total global fish production is 170 million tons, which are offered on the basis of 70 million tons fresh, 45 million tons frozen, 20 million tons canned, and 17 million tons dried, salted, and smoked. The European Union by far was the largest import market in 2014 and 2015, followed by the United States and Japan. Fishing industry is the primary industry for revenue generation, employment, food safety, food and foreign currency income for many developing countries. Fishing export of developing countries in 2014 was 80 billion US dollars.
it is projected that the production amount through breeding will be higher fishing and total global fish production will reach 196 million tons in 2025. The reason behind this increase is rise in income, urbanization, improvement in storage capacities, and distribution facilities. In 2025, Asian countries will represent 90% of the total global production, still maintaining its position among the largest producers. It is estimated that one other significant increase will be in Latin America, particularly Brazil and China, with production of 60%. Offering fish from water to the final consumption, without deteriorating the quality, is only possible through rapid cooling. The most practical and traditional way of doing this is to bring fish together with ice. The fish cannot be separated from the ice, from fishing to treatment, and from transportation to the final market delivery. The thin ice pieces are the industry's mobile coolers by providing the closest to the ideal protection by minimizing the water loss of the fish, which has sensitive skin. Freezing process of seafood to extend the storage period plays a crucial role in controlling foodborne pathogens. In fact, seafood are shocked in negative 35 degrees Celsius rooms to be kept for a long time. Frozen seafood is then packaged and labeled. Labeled products are stored in frozen storage rooms under a temperature of negative 18 degrees Celsius. Rapid population growth, extreme and unconscious fishing, Environmental adverse factors have led to a rapid decline in the natural fish resources of the world and even the risk of extinction of some species. At that level, it is clear that the gap in natural fish stocks can be covered nothing but by the increase in breeding. Fish consumption produced from breeding was only 5% in 1970, but this rate reached now 40% and it will reach 60% by 2050. We hope that our fish production will reduce the pressure on the natural fish populations in the sea. Let's not forget that life started in the sea, and we are all on the same ship. <laughs>